Counter-Strike Global Offensive is a multiplayer first-person shooter developed by Valve. The game has two teams against each other. The terrorists that have to plant a bomb and the counter-terrorists that have to stop them from doing that. For new players, the game offers a training weapon course to show you the basics of the game. It teaches you how to shoot the SMG and distinguish enemies in the first room and how to shoot with M4A1 and how to do headshots in the second room. After that, grenades, flashbang, planting and defusing a bomb and finally, a time section where you combine everything which ends in finishing the map. This is being speedrun separately as well, world record being 18 seconds. All of this oh takes God. 4 minutes and 30 seconds to finish, when you speedrun it without any glitches. Yeah. But did you know it can be finished in only 1 minute and 30 seconds? People were trying to find a faster route. Eventually, they found out that after you planted the bomb, you could jump on towers here and then up here, allowing you to go over this fence, over this building, over this roof, on top of this fence here, jumping straight into the finish, finishing the course in 4 minutes and 1 second, which is 29 seconds faster. After this, they found a faster route. Before you plant the bomb, you jump here to jump on top of the door, then on this building and continue to finish the same way. This fence on the other side is a bit faster. This took 3 minutes and 54 seconds, just 7 seconds faster than the previous route. It was found that after the second room with M4A1, you can shoot this chair to reposition it. Then jump on it, jump on the roof, on the fence, go over this building, jump on this tree and go straight into the end trigger. Successfully completing the course in 2 minutes and 45 seconds, which is 1 minute and 45 seconds or 25-7% faster. Then another skip was found. This skip didn't need a chair at all. When you finish the first room, you need to line up with a specific position against the wall and then jump, performing a glitch called pixel surfing. This lets you skip the second room and get straight on top of the fence and let you walk over the roof, getting into the finish only in 1 minute and 38 seconds, which is 1 minute and 7 seconds or 40% faster. In short, this pixel surfing glitch works because this wall and fence are actually two walls, one being placed on top of the other. Here on Mirage you can see it better, and if you jump with a precise position and angle, you can just surf on the bottom wall. This glitch is very complex and interesting. Freeclix Philip made a very good video about how it works and where it can be used. After you finish the course once, the map is saved and after you come back, you can play the last part of the map timed course again, without having to complete the tutorial again. This can be abused if you wanna speedrun it again, after finishing it once already. You can just simply shoot the chair to reposition it in front of the first room when playing it for the first time. And then when playing it for the second time, after you do the first room again, you can just use the chair to jump instead of pixel surfing. This takes about 1 minute and 10 seconds. Or, instead of repositioning the chair, you can finish the course many times faster. You have the option to open the door or play the whole course again once you've completed the map previously. But, you can go around this. You need to play the first task by shooting all the bullets out of your gun. Then, when he asks you to put the weapon back, you restart the game. Then on the new map, it will glitch out and skip the first task. Then you pick up the gun and the timer starts. We pick up the gun as a starting point for the timer because it is a trigger for the map to begin. You skip the first room entirely by going back to the timed course. Picking up the knife here because you need to be fast enough for the next trick and you are not fast enough with SMG. Jump on top of this wooden wall climb up on top of this roof and get to the finish in 14 seconds. And today, Derp has found another optimization. If you pick up the SMG and shoot all the bullets out of the gun, you don't need to pick up the knife in the timed course. Because when the SMG disappears, you run as fast as with the knife. The rest of the route is identical. This took him only 12 seconds. Alright, this was a video about how to finish the CSGO weapon course in 1 minute and 30 seconds. And after that in 12 seconds when played for the second time. Thanks for watching, go ahead and try speedrunning this course yourself. If you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like or comment. I really love speedrunning games made in the Source Engine. You can check out my Half-Life speedrunning videos on the screen. Subscribe for more videos like this.